Hello folks, just wanted to talk about AT&T for a minute. It ended up the last week, toward the end of the week, well in the $15. And right here at one point, almost $16. A high of $15.91. As you can see there on the left for the high. Yeah, right there. So... This, this pulled back a little bit, but it's holding newer highs. So as you see, can see on this smaller chart, you can see how she jumped up. And a lot of this is due to some positive news that's been uh, been released. So let's jump back over here on the snapshot. So, Citicorp had dropped, yeah, said, said well, Citicorp adjusts AT&T's price target to $18 from $17, maintains a buy rating. So, it's sitting right, what, $14 under $15, around $14, $15. So, that's positive news that they expected to go up. Morgan Stanley adjusts the price target to $19 from $20. So they were expecting it to be twenty dollars, and they dropped it today to to nineteen. Deutsche Bank adjusts AT and T's price targets from to twenty three dollars from twenty two. So Deutsche thinks it's going to hit twenty three dollars. So I mean that's a pretty good that's a pretty good jump, and. Um, if you got several people, so a lot of a lot of the census consensus here, Morgan Stanley tip rank says it's a moderate buy. Uh, Morgan Stanley says it's an equal weight buy. Smart Census says it's at a hold. Argus Fundamental says it's a hold. Argus Quantitative says it's a hold. Refinitive says they're kind of neutral on it, which I guess means if you are in it, then you just just kind of hold on to it and let's see what it does type of attitude. But you know, this is an old school stock. This stock has been around for years. This is a this 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 is a solid company. Everybody in the US here knows what AT&T is. From having landlines to cell phones, now they own they own Direct TV. The company's not going anywhere soon. They're, they're a technology company, and over time, I expect them to um, go up. Let's look at something else I want to show you here. So if we go back three years. So the price, the price had been up 24 In the past three years, the high was 24. So we're in, we're in a valley right now. We're in a low right now. So if the person was looking to get into this stock, this possibly could be a good time to be in this stock. It's been hovering around $14, $15 for, for quite a few months. So, you know, back at the first of the year, we were up around, what, 20 we were sitting at twenty dollars, so you get in like fourteen, fifteen dollars, and it goes. This shoots back up to like twenty three, twenty four dollars a share, and I do believe they can do that because, like I said, they are a stable company. They've been around for years. They're not perfect. They've had some, uh, you know, some. There's been some bad news uh, centered around them for a while, but look at this. Back in the day, back in twenty twenty. This stock was setting at almost $30 a share. Did it hit $30? No. It was setting just under $30 a share. $29.98. So it was like just under just under $30 a share. And right now it's at half price from what it was. So 
you know, the, the economy starts turning around, and I know with the war and stuff, that's probably going to be tough on stuff, but uh, during the down times is when millionaires have made their money because they have bought into stocks when they've been on their lows. And then they just they buy, they buy into them, they hold into the highs, and look at the difference in where this stock has been since three years ago. Almost thirty dollars a share down to fourteen, fifteen dollars a share, half price. The stock is literally on sale right now. So, and somebody, somebody last week went and bought. Somebody, somebody's been buying, right? See that green bar here? See these green bars? These people buying into this thing. And I think they are expecting the stock to go up. So, as the stock goes up, you're going to see some sales as people are selling, making their money. Somebody's bought in about in the low, and when it come up, they sold right here. Somebody dumped a bunch of it because they were they were in the green. So and then some people do that. They swing trade. They day trade. But long term, long term, when you look at this chart, uh, this stock has some potential. I again, I don't think I don't think AT and T is going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, I believe they're going to be around for a good while. So I'm in the stock. This is one of my stocks I am in, and I just think this is a good time if somebody's looking for something to buy into it. Now, do your own research because I am not a financial advisor. Uh, I just like to talk about stocks and make videos about stocks and crypto, but, um, you know, if the stock turns around and with the positive news, with them, with several news stories getting released, is if they keep releasing positive news stories on this stock, the price will it'll be like a self-fulfilling prophecy. They're talking about $18, $19, $20 dollars a share. The stock will get to $18, $19, $20 dollars a share because the hype will be, well, this stock is undervalued right now. We, you know, we need to buy into it, and then when it hits $20 dollars a share, then we've made money. And that's what exactly is psychology. It's it's psychological. So that's what's going to happen. That's I believe. I really believe that's what's going to happen. Do we know? Do I know for a fact it's going to hit back to thirty? No, I have no idea. Only time will tell. These guys have put these articles out. These guys have put these articles out. Uh, you know, it's having yeah, it's having its best week of the year. It's up. It's up from where it was at. But these guys don't know where it's going to go. So, I mean, Deutsche Bank thinks it's going to hit $23. I mean, this is a big financial institution right here, Deutsche Bank. Morgan Stanley, it thinks it's going to hit 19 to 20 It thinks it's fixing to hit 19 to 20 before long. So we shall see. I think it will I think it'll come up too because like I said, it's a household name. And um was it Warren Buffett that said buy stocks, buy stock in the companies that you know, and this is a company that everybody everybody in in the US knows what ATT is. So I just want to throw that out there. I think it's a good opportunity. The stock's at a low, I mean, low, lower than it's been over the past three or four years. And uh, I think it's about time for it to come back up. With these positive uh, news stories coming out, people, these financial people talking about AT&T, it may be time that it's going to come back up, and this would be, would be a good time for somebody to make some money in it. So... But am I selling you to buy into it? No. Do your own research. Go look at it. Do your own. Go out to E-Trade if you have an E-Trade account. And, and go look at the post, the news about AT&T. Look up AT&T. Go, um, go to Yahoo Financial, financial.yahoo.com. Go look it up on there and, and look at the news stories off of that and make your own decisions. Okay? Don't just buy the stock because I mentioned it. But... Um, 
just under fifteen dollars on the day to day after closing after market close fourteen ninety seven um I don't know if I'd set the show after market prices. What did it do after market? Um, extended hours is on, so that's probably after hours price right now for trading fourteen ninety six. So it's almost back up to fifteen dollars. So um, and this this right here probably stopped at well. No, that's at market. That's at fourteen ninety five. Is at market close, so it's went up two cents, I guess. But anyway, anyway, I just want to make a video about this. Actually, that's, that's the ask price. It's a fourteen ninety five. Is the price right here at close fourteen ninety five. So extended hours. I'm surprised. It is fourteen ninety seven extended after hours. So I am right. All right, I got a little confused about this ass price. So somebody's got another ass price on here. That was probably the last ass price it sold. So anyway, with that, I'm gonna close. But uh, keep everything real. Do not invest money you can't afford to lose. Keep your lights on, keep food on the table, keep a roof over your head. You know, keep what's important important because uh, investing can be a risk. But I think I really do, and personally, and this is just my opinion, I do not know where this stock is going to go. Nobody knows, as I've said before in previous videos. But I do feel this stock is uh, set to go back up in price. I really do. I think this is this is set. It's like it's like waves in the ocean. You either, it goes down, comes back up, you gotta ride the wave. And that's how people make money. But anyway, I'm gonna close with that. Everybody, I hope you're having a good Monday. Hope it's a good start of the week and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.